So here I'll just be doing a quick guide on how to download the March Madness Legacy mod for uh, PC. So because some people are having issues, because there are different files you have to download, I'll just quickly walk you through it. So everything is going to be directed in the Discord. So first thing, if you're not in the Discord, I'm going to link it down below. Just join that and you'll do all the sign up process, agree to the rules. You might need to make, you'll need to make a, an account if you haven't used Discord before, but it's no problem. And then once you're in Discord, you'll see all these channels. And now this is where you might get confused if you've not been in here before, but where you want to go is once you've read the rules and accepted them, you just go here to downloads. And now this is where most people get confused because when you scroll through downloads here, there's just tons and tons of links. So the ones you're going to be wanting will be the most recent. So this is for PC only because I don't know how the PS3 patching works, but for PC, you'll just find the latest patch, which right now is patch version four. You'll find where that is and it is here. So you just go to the downloads, you'll click media fire. It'll bring up this link and you just download there. That is actually not the full one. So here's the full one. So here, PC release. So you want to click this, you'll go here and it'll start downloading straight away. I'm gonna cancel that because I already have installed. You're gonna do the same here, download the patch. Patch will be later editions that improve it. So, and then the roster. So you just click for the latest roster and that'll bring you here. And you just click this, attach files, and it should start downloading for you there. So if you want to learn how to install, I do have an install tutorial, but everything, once you have everything installed, it should look something like this tutorial where you'll have the package files which are the big ones used for installing and then you can ignore the images and then you'll have your system data so this is the roster file and this is the mod files so that is all you need to download so once again everything will be in the download section in the discord so if you have any more questions you can ask here we have support rooms or you can comment down below but yeah hopefully uh, this helps you out